Hello and welcome to VPC! My name is Miranda and in this video I will explain what CPU and GPU bottleneck is and how does it affect your gaming performance. Firstly, we need to define what is bottleneck and understand how it works. Bottleneck occurs when there is a limit on how much data is being sent for the processing or how much data can be processed at the same time. The components that are involved in the process of bottlenecking are CPU and the GPU. And if they have huge differences in processing speed, that's when the bottleneck will happen. So when we are talking about CPU bottleneck, it happens when the processor isn't fast enough to process and transfer data that is getting from the graphics card. The same concept applies to GPU bottleneck. Only this happens if you pair a fast processor with an entry-level graphics card. The bottleneck is caused by incompatible CPU and GPU, but games also contribute to this factor. CPU-dependent games are those that usually have high frames per second rate with low resolution graphics. Some of these games are Minecraft, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Civilization V. While games that show higher frame rates when paired with high-end graphics card are GPU-dependent such as The Witcher 3, Borderlands 2, and Dying Light. That's why it's important to choose a specific gaming setup based it in line with what games you usually play and you will most likely avoid this problem. How to know if you are experiencing a bottleneck? Well, you can download a monitoring software such as MSI Afterburner and open it while gaming. This will allow you to see every load on your CPU and GPU. If your CPU reflects high usage with low GPU usage, you have a CPU bottleneck and that game is CPU dependent and vice versa. If you are experiencing this, you are probably wondering if there is a way to fix it without the need of buying a new CPU or a GPU. We have a few different methods for you to try. If you have a CPU bottleneck, adjusting your game graphics to high resolutions should balance the load. The GPU will need more time to render the process data and there will be fewer chances of experiencing a bottleneck. Another method to lower your CPU bottleneck issues is to close any unnecessary background processes. Doing so leads to a surprising increase in the frames per second count. Also, you could overclock your RAM, which is closely tied with how fast your CPU can process data, and overclock the CPU, giving better performance. And lastly, lowering in-game CPU bound settings allow a huge boost and reduction in CPU bottleneck issues. These settings include but are not limited to lowering draw distance, vegetation, population density. However, when it comes to fixing GPU bottleneck issues, you cannot do much besides adjusting the graphics to lower settings. On the bright side, getting a GPU bottleneck is better since this does not return stutters in the game unlike getting a CPU bottleneck. So guys, make sure you pair the right components before actually getting the parts. Choose components in line with the games you usually play to avoid the need to upgrade them soon. By pairing the right components, chances of experiencing a bottleneck will be slim. Thank you so much for watching. For a more in-depth article, go to the description box below where you will find the link to the VPC website. And don't forget to let us know in the comments if you found this video useful. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you look over there, you will see a video that we know you're going to like. Thanks again, guys.